Is Clarence one of the most underrated cartoons of all time? Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here. Well, I'll answer that question right away and say yes, it is. Clarence is being canceled and I'm not sure why. I know I don't hear about the show that much, but I really like Clarence and I think it's one of Cartoon Network's strongest shows at the moment. I'd put it up there with Steven Universe and The Amazing World of Gumball. Last year I praised Clarence and put it in a high position on my top 10 list of cartoons for 2016. After doing this I was sent hate and confusion over my decision. I put more thought into this top 10 list of cartoons and I also took into account the amount of episodes that I enjoyed from each show during 2016 and Clarence had a lot of good episodes in 2016 and that's why it did so well on my list and I stick to my opinions if you don't like Clarence I feel like you haven't watched a lot of Clarence I see comments on my videos with people happy that Clarence is being canceled or saying that Clarence sucks and I think you're wrong and even if the show is getting canceled I think you should give the show another chance and check it out. Clarence isn't a very plot heavy cartoon. It's a cartoon about a kid and all the experiences that come alongside with being a kid. Clarence has always been a pretty good show but I think with season 2 the quality of the show really picked up and having good episodes was a lot more consistent. Freedom Cactus, Birthday, Tree of Life, the Capture the Flag special, those are all good episodes and there's plenty more in Clarence's second season. If you stopped watching the show around its first season, then I suggest checking out some of the episodes from season 2. And if you like those episodes from season 2, go back to the beginning and watch the whole thing. The only thing that really changes within Clarence is that there are new characters that are introduced and some of the adults and Clarence's classmates get episodes focused on them or them with Clarence. Moving on to season 3, the big thing that stands out is Clarence's Stormy Sleepover Special, which is a 6 episode miniseries, and this is definitely one of Clarence's best works, and this special actually takes Clarence out of the plot for a few episodes and shows the side characters are strong enough to handle a plot on their own. Big Game, Chad in the Marathon, and The Trade are all good episodes from Season 3. And while I said Season 2 had consistency in its good episodes, Season 3 is definitely the strongest season of Clarence so far with all of its great episodes. With the crew being aware of the show being cancelled, I definitely think they have given their all so far in Season 3. Clarence is just a good show and I can't stress that enough. When I watch the show, I just feel good. I can't even say the same thing about Gumball this year. While Gumball has had good episodes, some of the episodes this year felt like a chore to watch. And if Clarence was aired more like a, another show on Cartoon Network, I'm sure you'd have plenty of chances to check it out and see the quality within the show. Canceling Clarence at this point seems like such a weird move to me. Let's take a quick look at how each show on Cartoon Network is doing in the rankings so far. At number one, we have Teen Titans Go, which is to be expected. It's aired all day, every day. It seems like it's the big money maker for the network. At number two, we have Steven Universe, which is obviously a great show. Probably the best show on Cartoon Network at the moment. At number three is The Amazing World of Gumball. Gumball is a great show. I think Gumball is definitely one of the best shows on Cartoon Network. A lot of people seem to not talk about Gumball, but if you see all the work that's put into the show, you can see why it's ranking pretty high with the network. At number four, we have We Bear Bears, which hasn't had that many episodes this year. It's coming back soon. It's a good show. At number five, we have Clarence. This is an odd position for the show, because I really do love Clarence. I really enjoy the show. I think it should be above We Bear Bears. We Bear Bears is a great show, but Clarence is a better show than We Bear Bears. Steven Universe and The Amazing World of Gumball, are, those are really good shows. So I put Clarence up at number four. You know, I'd switched Clarence and We Bear Bears, but that's about it. I don't think I can put Clarence above Steven Universe or The Amazing World of Gumball. Maybe it could be above Gumball for this year, but 
I think that's really pushing it because Gumball, even if I didn't enjoy every episode of Gumball that came out this year, Gumball is still a very high quality cartoon. At number six, we have Adventure Time, and Adventure Time doesn't air that much. Obviously, this list does not contain every ongoing Cartoon Network show, but these are the big ones at the moment. When I said I don't understand why Clarence is being canceled, I meant that more from a quality standpoint. The quality of the show is good. It makes sense for Adventure Time to be below Clarence. Adventure Time has been on the network for a very long time and I'd even say it's been on the network for too long and I feel like people have forgotten about Adventure Time or they just stopped watching. It was said to be ending in 2018 probably towards the beginning of the year like regular show did. If you take a look at the ratings on Wikipedia, Clarence is pretty close to the numbers of We Bear Bears. If that show isn't on its way out, why should Clarence be on its way out from the network? And don't get me wrong, I don't wish for either show to leave or be cancelled, but it just doesn't make any sense for Clarence to leave and not We Bear Bears. Cartoon Network does not have a lot of good shows at the moment. While new shows are coming, those shows could fail and then what? Rinse and repeat? Other networks would keep Clarence around with its numbers, with its ratings, so why is Cartoon Network getting rid of Clarence? Maybe it's a situation where it's not selling a lot of merchandise like other shows in the past have been canceled for. It sucks, but I'm sure there's a logical reason for ending Clarence. So, what do you think about Clarence being canceled and is it one of the most underrated cartoons currently on TV? Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. The links are below. I'm SirMo11. See you next time, and peace out.